Unexpected Twins Sio's Next Trick Novelado Book. Chapter 1 A Setup. Who are you, and what are you trying to do? The man uttered in his deep voice. We re making a baby. Of course, why are you pretending as if you don't know? I'm making a baby. Caitlin Stone was shocked to her core as she had no idea what the man was talking about. Her mother, who had been away from home for years, had asked to meet her here, but a strange man entered instead. What is this man talking about? And why is he here? Where is mom? Did she set me up? Still dazed, her thoughts were in a mess. But before Caitlin could dwell further on that, the man had already leapt towards her, forcing himself onto her small, delicate body. Caitlin gasped in surprise and shrieked, Let me go. Who let you in my room? Get out. A-H-H-H-H-H. What happened next was all a blur. All Caitlin felt at that moment was a surge of indescribable pain as her mind went blank. After what seemed like an eternity, she finally woke up. But Dawn had yet to break. Her body was aching terribly. But she endured the pain and put on her clothes with tears brimming in her eyes. As soon as she finished, she dashed out of the room hurriedly without so much as a backward glance. Not long after Caitlin left, a female staff appeared calmly from the other end of the corridor. She then got her phone out and made a call. Yes, I am sure, I did it according to your orders. Five years later, in the southern suburbs of Cloudville, where the TV series The Love of My Life was currently shooting, two four-year-old kids were pushing their way through the crowd. One of them, Rachel Stone, was shouting joyously as she rushed forward in excitement. Alex, look, a celebrity. Rachel, suddenly, Winter Addison's assistant appeared and grabbed on the little girl as collar to stop her from disturbing the illicit celebrity. Hey, what are you doing? Dante you know you can't wander around here. The assistant, Lexi, demanded. Rachel as gaze turned timid upon being reprimanded. And she muttered with her head down. I am sorry, madam. I just wanted to take a look at Miss Celebrity. Even though Rachel was just a toddler, Lexi wasn't he going to let her off easily. You can take a look at her. But do it a distance and don't come near us. Go on, get along now. With that said, she gave Rachel a push as if she was chasing a contagious plague away. Lexi didn't exert much strength. Rachel didn't have her guard up. Hence, she lost her balance and immediately fell to the ground with a thud. Oh, it hurts. Rachel's eyes became red rimmed that instant and started sobbing pitifully. Meanwhile, Alex Stone arrived just in time and saw what had happened. With a perturbed expression on his face, he darted over and helped his sister up before glaring at Lexi angrily. Madam, please say sorry to my sister. He said in a sharp voice. As soon as Lexi saw Alex, she was afraid that the scene would upset Winter. So she admonished. Stop it. Kids, leave now, or I'll ask the security to chase you away. However, Alex was determined to get an apology out of Lexi. Please say sorry to my sister. At this point, his action had successfully angered Lexi, who summoned the security at once. Hurry, get them out of here, and don't let them interrupt the shooting. The security stepped forward and was about to do so when Alex stood in their way, refusing to budge. In the end, both kids were shoved to the ground. That horrendous scene greeted Caitlin, the mother of the kids, when she finally managed to squeeze in through the crowd. She ran to them at once and stood in front of them protectively, utterly livid. She demanded. What were you trying to do to my kids? Caitlin seemed anxious, but her anger heightened when she saw the wound on Rachel as leg. This morning, a customer arrived at her florist shop, claiming to be a production crew of the TV series The Love of My Life. He then proceeded to order 500 roses to decorate a scene and offered to pay her handsomely. Her shop hadn't accepted such a huge order in a while. Thus. After a brief hesitation, 
Caitlin agreed and immediately gathered the roses from various sources before delivering them here. Her two precious kids insisted on coming along when they found out she would be delivering the flowers to a film set. Initially, Caitlin thought it would be fine since she was just delivering flowers. Thus, she agreed to bring them along. Yet never in her worst nightmare did she expect this to happen. Caitlin glowered at Lexi furiously. You ray an adult. How could you just push the kids? Lexi felt slightly ashamed by her question. However, she was afraid Winter would notice what had happened. So she stood rooted to the spot with an icy expression and said nothing. Right then, someone reached over and picked Rachel up. Welcome to download the Brava Novel APP. Read the novel Unexpected Twins CO's next trick online and get the latest updates.